Hey guys, this is Pooja Gupta. Welcome to Media Mentor. Today is Saturday, and yes, this is a Q and A vlog. So today's video is for the most asked question on my channel, which is related to studying abroad, journalism, and mass media. So a lot of you want to go abroad and study journalism and mass media, which is a trend also that people literally don't want to stay in this country for a lot of reasons and stuff like that. So what uh, you have asked, the most asked question is on the scholarship. So let me tell you guys first thing about the scholarship that every country has a different university so har country mein jaise hamare yahan pe mumbai university delhi university uh, different state ka different university hota hai har country mein so for example if you are going to us uk germany wherever they have n number of universities har university ka apna scholarship hota hai now that scholarship has a certain criteria so for that you have to first select the university like country university and then you can find out about the scholarship secondly agar aapko scholarship mil bhi jati hai so don't expect that 100% of your fees will be covered you will be only covered maximum 30 to 40 percent uske upar ki puri fees aapko khud ke pocket se pay karni padti hai so there's one more thing that few of the countries have free education policy wherein in that particular country education is completely free so if you talk about uh, countries like germany and japan they have free education policy secondly the phd degree in japan is completely free so yes definitely you have that advantage of free education policy if you select that particular country and yeah definitely it comes with a condition applied and also one thing you have to keep in mind that the scholarship is on your tuition fees like aapki jo college fees hoti hai usme tuition fees ka jo part hai usi pe scholarship valid hoti hai and that as i said depends from university to university uh ab scholarship milti kis criteria pe hai first thing is the rankers obviously whatever uh, exams they have on that the ranker basis secondly there are few competitions or something which is done or out of goodwill and everything by a, by a particular country or the university if you take part if you participate in that that is one of the thing and final thing is the girl child policy so for girls there are uh, special education policies which is made by university or the country then yes that is one of the criteria as well also don't expect that every university will give scholarship there are few universities which will not at all give any kind of scholarship So as you see it's really difficult to you know search all this information in detail so all of you who are who are planning to study abroad will have to do a specific research as i have certain expertise i have a friend and my student she is an expert in this like she has done a lot of work related to uh, researching for the abroad university for the studies courses stay fee scholarship so she will be helping me out to help you guys to find the exact data but we have planned to give it a little bit fees because it will take lot of time and effort and research work to you know to accommodate all those data so guys as you can see i have genevieve with me so genevieve tell us what you going to do for all of them who want to study abroad okay so i'm genevieve and uh As ma'am already mentioned that she uh, she's going to be helping you guys with you know uh, how to study abroad and where and how. So what I'm going to play a role in this is that when you guys have a question related to your uh, studies, it will be very very uh, customized because everybody's uh, questions and everybody's requirements and budgets and everything is going to be very different. So there's no point in like uh, me taking like talking to you all together. So we have decided, as ma'am said, that we have a one-on-one -on -one session. We can obviously uh, take down your questions and as per your requirements, we can give you perfect and proper, appropriate uh, information, so that you don't find it very difficult to again research on those according to your requests. So that will be one thing. Uh, secondly, in that we can uh, of course decide on your country, which is going to be feasible. your uh, accommodation your university their scholarships fees uh, everything other else that comes under uh, study abroad your visa your passports and everything all those details will be uh, given to you uh, guys hope that was helpful because these all things are a must required and if you go to uh, the consultancy services which she like agree they will ask you minimum of 10 to 15000 just to give you these data so we just wanted to help you out so we will be only taking the minimal research fees as we said it will be completely personalized depending on each and every individual so if you are interested in the description box below we'll give you the contact number and email id where you can book your personal counseling session with us 
Thanks for watching guys and if we can help you with any of the generic data in abroad studies you can write in the comment box below and we'll get back to you on that. Stay tuned for a lot of more informative videos on Media Mentor and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.